Hi, I'm Richard from Glowing Embers, and today we're going to be talking about boiler stoves. Um, this here is possibly one of the largest boiler stoves you might ever see, um, and uh, what this does is not only heats the room that you're in, um, it also heats the rest of the house by circulating water, hot water, around to your radiators. That's effectively what a boiler stove does. That's the difference between a normal wood-burning stove and a boiler stove. So it works by um, a, a wall of, or a jacket of water, which is all around the outside of the firebox. So often if you see a, a wood-burning stove, you have vermiculite or some sort of insulation around the edge of the stove to project the heat out into the room. With a boiler stove, you've got a jacket of water. So each side and along the top, there's a, there's a pipe along the top there, um, there's water. When you light the stove, the water gets hot, it circulates round and goes through the pipes round to, the, uh, to your radiators and distributes the heat throughout your house. So that's the idea of a boiler stove. Um, they're pretty much the same to operate as a, as a normal wood burning stove. You've got your, gen your normal controls, the, the primary and, and secondary and airs. Um, the only difference that you will find on most of them, or at least on most good um, boiler stoves, is that you'll have a, um, a, a control, a thermostatic control like that uh, at the bottom, and that's to help even out the, the heat going to the water. So where you set that, it automatically opens and, and closes the air controls based on how hot the firebox is. So it kind of tries to even out the peaks and troughs in, in the uh, heat in your, in your firebox going to your radiators. So other than that, it's pretty much the same as a wood burning uh, stove to use, um, but you get the benefits of heating your whole house rather than one room. So why might you buy a boiler stove rather than a wood burning stove? Well, that's the main reason, to heat your whole house. If you're lighting your, your stove every night, um, uh, you might think, well, why not use that heat and circulate it around the house? Equally, if you've got a big space or you're trying to heat a number of rooms downstairs, you could put a number of wood burners in um, a, a few different rooms, or you could get a, wood, uh, a boiler stove and actually heat through the radiators around, around your house. It's, it's just another option. Um, and you can install them in conjunction with gas boilers and even, as I've done, um, in conjunction with an air source heat pump, uh, slightly more complicated, um, and we'll get into that a bit later. Um, but a good solution if you want to get sort of heat around your house rather than having either one huge fire in the room and being really hot in the room you're in to try and get the heat around or multiple stoves. So um, what are the considerations? Well, the first uh, and most obvious thing is, is what size do you want? And I've gone for here a very big, the biggest really um, stove because I, I want to heat my house properly. Um, so this stove is a 30 kilowatt stove. That's a, that's a lot of heat that this can chuck out. It throws out seven kilowatts to the room and 23 kilowatts to the radiators. And so that uh, is enough to heat a whole house. A lot of the smaller boiler stoves are fine if you want to heat one or two other rooms. Um, they'll, they'll really only heat a couple of radiators. So the, every stove, ha, uh, every boiler stove has um, a rating, overall rating 30 kilowatts, then a split between heat to the room and heat to the water. So uh, this being 23 kilowatts, you can roughly calculate how many radiators that will run because each radiator in your house usually takes around two kilowatts. So if you divide that down, this will do 11 to 12 at a push radiators, which can heat the whole house. Plus, obviously, you're heating your main room uh, with seven kilowatts to the main room as well. So um, the first consideration clearly is size. The second consideration is, is how much fuel you will use. Again, this is about the biggest wood burning stove on the market. It's a huge firebox. If you want to get 23 kilowatts to the room, uh, to the water out of this, you're gonna need to burn a lot of wood and it does go through a lot of wood. Um, so that's something you should be prepared for. The, the greater heat output, you might think, great, that, that's what I need, but actually you need to keep feeding it logs. You need to have those logs available. Um, and the, the last consideration really is installation. So 
They're not a simple installation. A wood burning stove is quite an easy job, especially if you've got a chimney like this. You just put it in, pop a liner down, and half a day it's installed and heating up your home. Um, with a boiler stove, you've got to have pipes going out into your um, heating system and to your radiators. And so there's a plumbing job involved in there. It's becoming harder and harder to get installations of boiler stoves. There's less and less people doing them. They're more of a rare thing. So from that point of view, I'm going to do another video um, talking about the complete installation of this stove, talking through exactly how it was done, what all of the um, pipes do and why it's, um, it's installed like this and what the considerations are when installing, because I think that's going to be really helpful. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.